I welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I'd like to show you in this tip how to cut out the terrain we just created or we received some information and we just added this to Archicad. As you can see, obviously, my buildings are there and I like to cut around. Now, you would think, oh, you know, you can just select this and cut a hole in it and show you what happens. That's one thing Archicad doesn't like too much if you have a terrain like this with some um, curves. Let's just do this quickly. Let's just say you think, okay, we can just go and cut around here, create a hole, which it does. You know, I can say create a hole, fit user riches, that's great. But then what happened, as you can see already, it adds way too many points along. So if you're going to 3D, the cut looks great, that's good, but if you select this, there you go. So, you know, if you want to then now to adjust all those points, uh, it will just take you for, forever to do along here around the side. So, I like to undo this because a better way is the way I show you this. I'm turning off this terrain and I show you what I got as my buildings. So it's just some townhouses here and you can see I got the slab at the bottom. All right, so what I like to do is I, I wanna take this slab and duplicate this slab. So you can do this in 3D, not a problem at all. So you drag this, maybe <clears throat> you drag this up, a copy, you know, and let's drag it over just a bit higher. We change it to a cutting element layer and I have to really turn that back on. I don't have it on my um, combination, so I'm just going there, no problem. So you take this and you move this back down to just under there. All right, that's great. So let's go back and we now turn the terrain on, going to 3D. And yes, I need to turn this cutting element on. All right, so that's what we got now. So you simply select this um, element now here and the terrain and hit F5, which will then just select what we got here. It looks a bit funny here because it has to do with the um, numbers here. The cutting element is on number one. So if I want to change this quickly, let's put this on two and I'll show you what happens. It's all clean now. So it's not important, you don't have, it's really, you don't need to actually show you, it, it looks visual a bit better. So obviously now we go to go and select the SEO, so, uh, solid element operations, and we get the target element is our terrain, operator element is my slab. And I like to subtract with downward extrusion. So you go there and you execute. All right, so if I now hit this and hit F5 again, it will just show me the terrain. All right, let's go back here because I just noticed something that the hole went all the way down and that's because I used subtraction with downward extrusion. I really like to use subtraction with upward, um, upward extrusion. What happened is I show you, which is much nicer, um, operator elements and we take target elements and if I use the one going upwards, execute and I turn my cutting element off, then it will only cut out the exact, you know, just down to my bottom of the slab. So I think that's obviously much better. Now, the difference is here, you see at the moment you have no points at all actually, okay? So if we go back down here and we look at the whole site with my building in, you can see it did cut this out, very nice, but some of it, as you can see, I have to adjust, so I'm too high here, there you go, and maybe over here you can adjust this a little bit too. So what, what you do is now we just simply select this and we add some points here. So what you do is you go there and you gotta be on the mesh tool 
and you just double click. If you double click, it will add a point fit to user reaches. All right, so you got this point there now. So let's just deselect that just to see what happened. That was over here on this corner. Whoops. So I added this. So I select now. See, now I got this corner here and I can simply drag this down to there. All right, so this will adjust now. Let's go over here. Move a bit around. There you go. As you can see, we obviously need some more do the adjustments around there. Okay, let's do this down here. So because now we can be a lot more, well, call it choosy. So I can say, oh, I probably want to have another point just here, double click, and let's go back here and we double click again. And it just adds those points. Yeah, I should have been a bit more careful. Let's undo this, you know, zoom in. Okay, deselect. So what happens now, see, again, it added those points and you can nicely drag them down now and adjust to where you want to go in regards to your building site. So I'm zooming in there and as you can see, it can now just go down, go a bit further down than I need to maybe, oh no, actually not too bad, go a bit further down. I mean, you will know when you have your project and you keep going along around here. Let me do this quickly for you. Okay, as you can see here, it's still a work in progress. I'm not quite finished. I haven't, I haven't drawn any walls here, but the main thing is to see what I'm getting at. And, and it's important because you will have some splines, you know, that go along here. So if I select this, which obviously then you have to adjust to, you know, let's just say go, you're going here and you pull this down a bit, you know, pull this down. So now obviously the, the spline here is too high, so you have to start adjusting that a little bit too. It's a bit fiddly, but that's what you have to do to create a terrain that sort of fits your environment or surroundings. There you go. Okay, so same thing with, with all the other splines you have maybe. See up here as example, that's a bit of an extreme one here. It's way too high. You just gotta adjust those splines by eye, that's what I do is just make sure I'm smoothing them out. You go up here and pull this down. Okay, so I think this has been um, a nice little quick tip for you to see how to cut out the terrain with, um, without cutting a big hole in and have all those extra dots or polygons you, you don't really need. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and we'll be back soon. Bye for now.